And today we are going to start our dosa uh, preparation. So for dosas, uh, we need idli rice, and this is called urad dal, and ratio is always three to one. And then we put a little bit of like one eighth teaspoon of fenugreek seeds. So I'm going to put three cups of rice. And like I said, it's a three to one ratio. And three. we will be washing and soaking, which I will be demonstrating. Yes, half cups. And I have three cup, three half cups of rice. Mm. And to that, it's going to be one cup of urad dal, which you will be getting in your package. So you don't have to worry what to, where to find it. So this is the urad dal in there. And then to the rice, I add one eighth teaspoon of fenugreek, which will, uh, which will give us um, nice fermentation. We, this is the morning, so I'm going to wash it three to four times that will get rid of all the impurities in it and then we will soak it uh, seven to eight hours so i'm going to wash just show you how many times like at, when you wash it you will get this white water so we have to wash these grains till the water runs clear just try to make it uh, simple so yeah now the water is a little bit clear maybe one more time good this is the rice when i put it for soaking i put my hand in there and up to my second line of middle finger that is an adequate amount of water so it that way these grains have enough water to soak now i'm going to wash the rice again it will be for two to three times or maybe more or less depending upon how dirty it was yeah just we want to make sure all the impurities are off And the methi seeds, the fenugreek seeds are in there, so they get washed too. Nice. I will go one more time. Like I said, up to second line of my middle finger. That is an adequate amount of water to soak any grain. So this is it. This we will start in the morning. Let it soak till seven or eight. Then I will grind it and put it for fermentation. So we'll get to that in the evening. Thank you everyone. We are back. It's been uh, six to seven hours and our grain and our rice uh, is soaking. Uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to grind the dal first and i'm going to kind of keep a little bit of water uh, because they say it works um, if we grind it with the um, water, soaking water then fermentation is better so this is my grinder i am going to save some water and going to put my dal with a little bit of water in there and if I need more water, I will be using same water that we kept in that pot. All right. So we are going to grind this to a fine paste. Uh, my mix, uh, grinder or mixer is pretty noisy. So I'm going to turn it off and resume when it is ready. ready we ran it for four or five minutes again mine is Vitamix so it's pretty powerful machine if you have something else you just have to run it a little bit longer but what you should be getting is this kind of pasty consistency 
and this dal is ready so I'm going to put it in this container where I'm going to mix it with the rice so now the, la, uh, the dal is ready nice smooth and creamy kind of texture now I'm going to add rice drain a little bit of water and add everything so you will see a little bit of methi all plumped up with water and rice it goes back and again we will run it for four or five minutes till it gets to that consistency Ready? and again it is of that very pasty smooth consistency i'm going to mix it with the dal this morning about the measurement i kept on i had a half a cup measuring cup in my hand and i kept on saying one cup but what i meant is the ratio is three to one so three times half. yeah so i took a three half cups so it doesn't matter um, i had that one handy so i took it but three to one is the ratio three parts of rice and one part dal and one eight teaspoon of um, fenugreek seeds now we are going to mix this and we are going to mix it by hand and go round and round like frothing process but it is supposed to be done by hand because all the ba good bacteria from your skin need to go in there and they develop these pores and it becomes a nice frothy batter so now i hope you can see so we mixed it by hand just like 10 15 times we should say and this batter is ready now we are going to cover it with a foil or any lid and i keep it in my oven with the oven light on so it's like 8 15 ish at uh, a night and whole night is going to stay in my oven with the oven light on that creates enough heat to ferment this and if you turn the temp if there is more than like if you put it on hot then it kills the bacteria so it has to be just creating that kind of warmth in there and my oven does that so keep it in your oven um, with, the, with the lid on this and oven light is on and keep it undisturbed till tomorrow morning and tomorrow morning we will get together and again i will show you how frothy this batter becomes so shall see you tomorrow bye i'm sorry i said you'll see tomorrow morning but then i thought i should go over how we cover it so i will usually cover it with a piece of foil all the way not very tight little bit of air needs to go in there and then it goes in there with the, just the oven light on and close it and keep it till tomorrow morning bye okay hey good morning and uh, this is next day morning i just pulled this part out of my oven and i'm gonna open the whoa uh, so you can you can see how well it this is all fermented and frothy and when i can can you focus on this so when mm. i turn it around you can see all those air bubbles in there and that's what tells me that this has done excellent job of frothing so we are all set this is i will go around and get rid of all the air bubbles but the but the dough uh, the mixture is very very light so it will make very light and fluffy it will make beautiful doses 
So this is the pre-making um, of dosas. So day before, so you guys will start on August 4th morning. You will have your grains and you will soak them for eight to 10 hours. Then you will, you will grind it. Then you will mix it by your hand. Uh, and the consistency, I, like I said, like toothpaste consistency, the texture I mean, and it should be like a pancake batter. So you know how much water to put in there to make it to that consistency. I just am trying to explain and make it easier and I hope it makes sense, but it does that when you grind those grains, the consistency should be of pancake batter and the texture should be like a toothpaste. And then you mix it by your hand, cover it, leave it in the ref uh, oven with the light, oven light on and uh, leave it undisturbed for eight to 10 hours. And in the morning you have the dosa batter ready. And we will go ahead and make dosas in the next video. Thank you.